very much. Uh, of course, I cannot uh, speak on behalf of uh, Assam. Uh, the president of the Assam has uh, very elaborately uh, addressed and answered the question. Uh, but, but the question which has been asked by you know, the scholar is extremely important. And that pertains to the sustainability and sur survivability of uh, OIC. Uh, I'm only speaking uh, for the reason that uh, I have spent some time in studying and evaluating uh, the performance and the uh, outcome of the OIC. Uh, I'm just showing uh, uh, title of my book, uh, which was published after my PhD uh, thesis. Uh, some of the chapters uh, have been translated in a Turkish language as well. And I did uh, carry out evaluation of the OIC's performance vis-a-vis -vis two extremely important international conflicts that is in Palestine and in Kashmir. Without getting into the geopolitics, the fact remains that the OIC has not been, I'm not trying to criticize OIC. This is a fact and this is the opinion of a number of scholars that OIC has not been able to come up to the desired expectations of quite a large number of countries and more so to a majority of Muslim population. That does not mean that OIC uh, has not done anything. OIC, previously known as a conference, actually hardly had uh, uh, any meaning and influence on the Muslim politics. It was, it was uh, uh, during early uh, 21st century uh, that the thought process had been going on a number of uh, uh, names were suggested and some modification in its charter. The modi charter has already been modified once. But the fact, the fact is that the OIC is not playing. I think uh, there's some crosstalk taking place. I would request those speakers to please mute your. Uh, uh, Mike, and uh, let me uh, say my, uh, uh, you know, submissions in next two to three minutes. Uh, the OIC, for two, three reasons, has not been able to do well. Number one, for its functioning, it needs finances, and it is a hostage to one or two countries only. The OIC headquarter needs to be shifted on rotation basis to at least six, seven uh, countries in one form or the other. The basic uh, headquarters, the staff might continue to stay where they are, but other countries need to finance some of the organs of the OIC. Uh, maybe, you know, three, four countries can vol volunteer for that. Uh, the OIC has been uh, victim of the conflict between five or six major Muslim countries. Uh, we have, uh, let me not uh, name the countries and let me not get into that uh, because that may not be appropriate at this stage. Therefore, the OIC has to adopt a more dynamic and more proactive approach to, towards resolving various problems which are faced by the Muslim countries. One is the ongoing clash of ideas, the clash of civilization, the clash of values, and the Western world physical military onslaught for the capture and conquering of the resources of the Muslim world. This is what has happened in Afghanistan. 
uh, with a view to having controlling all the oil and gas and natural resources of Central Asia. This is what had been happening in Iran. The Americans and the British, they have been controlling the resources for last about almost 100 years since the oil was discovered. Uh, the Western countries have destroyed Iraq, they have destroyed Syria, they have destroyed Libya for no other reason but to have a control, unchecked, uninterrupted supply of the oil and the control. And that's what they are doing for the control of the Mediterranean and the control of Indian Ocean as well. So my only uh, suggestion is that there is no harm in having a parallel thinking. As uh, Brigadier General uh, Adnan has said that this is, uh, Assam is a civil society organization. I suggest there should be more organizations like Assam. They are not meant to challenge the mandate and the charter of the OIC. But if the OIC becomes totally stagnant, if OIC becomes malignant, what does it mean? That the whole Muslim world should suffer? The whole Muslim world should not be given a leadership of a new ideas and new... Uh, I will just finish Sir, it. Sir, can you please wrap up? I will, yeah, I will finish it here. That we must encourage new ideas. We must encourage healthy, productive, positive, new contribution. And we must give a ray of hope a ray of light to the new generation and people must come up with new solutions to the new problems. If we remain stagnant as we were in the 19th century and the 10th, 10th, uh, 20th century, we will suffer for another 100 years or maybe more. Thank you. Thank you.